right on into the word of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we are yet talking about victory, yeah. having the victory. Amen. The victory. Look at your name and say, neighbor. I am victorious. I am victorious. I have. I have the victory. The victory. Amen. Let us go to the word of God. Praise the Lord. That's in First Corinthians. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Fifteen. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians fifteen. Praise the Lord. And the fifth is beginning at the fifty-seventh verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. You have your Bibles, praise the Lord, your iPad, your phone, praise the Lord. We want you to use them, praise the Lord, for the word of God. Amen. 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 Let us stand to our feet for the reading of the word. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have the victory on tonight because of our Lord Jesus Christ, because of God. You see, praise the Lord, there are spiritual victory. Spiritual victory because we have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. We receive spiritual victory. Yes. Spiritual victory over evil influence of men. Yes. Spiritual victory over the influence of evil men. Yes. Praise the Lord. That song. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, 44 and 5. Amen. Praise the Lord, 44 and 5. Yes, that's some. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We're going to ask, praise the Lord, that our apostle would read. Amen. Psalms 44 and 5. Psalms 44 and 5. Amen. Glory to God. Through thee, through thee, we push down our enemies. Through thy name, we will tread them under the rise up against us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Here is David. Praise the Lord. The book of Psalm. It says, through thee, Will we push down our enemies through thy name? We thread them under that rise up against us. Here, David is saying, Praise the Lord. This is how, praise the Lord, we're going to overcome the evil influence of man. We're going to push them down, our enemies, through the name. Will we thread them under that rise up against us? The name we're gonna put down the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot do this thing in a natural realm. You have to be born of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah, glory to God. You must be born again. And in order to get this type of victory. Hallelujah, you got to be born again. You got to be born of the water and of the spirit. So David said, hallelujah, those that rise up against you, we're going to push them down, the enemy, in the name of Jesus. And we're going to thread, amen, them under. We're going to put them under. under. Your enemy is not supposed to be over you. Put them under. It should be under and not over you. Amen. So David said, hallelujah, we're going to fret them under that rise up against us. So your enemy that come up against you, hallelujah, you can push them down. 
push them down. The Bible tells us, put the devil under our feet. Yeah. Keep him under your feet. Yeah. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we're going to push the enemy down. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And it also talks about, praise the Lord, over the certainty of our affliction. Amen. Our affliction. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's Romans 8 and 35. Romans 8. Praise the Lord. And 35. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 We're going to get where we got God got us to go. Amen. 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 Just bear a little Long with me. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or swords? As is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? Amen. Come on now. Shall tribulation? Come on now. Or distress? Or persecution? Come on, breathe, breathe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tribulation is something, praise the Lord, that we all going to have. Yes. Yes. And tribulation. Praise the Lord, I believe in this same book, praise the Lord, say tribulation worketh patience. And patience worketh experience. And experience worketh hope. And hope make not a shame. So whatever you are going through your tribulation, just know that you are getting some experience. When you go through, you're going to get some experience. Praise the Lord. You'll be able, hallelujah, to help somebody else. Yeah. Amen. You know, praise the Lord, hallelujah, say, shall tribulation or distress or persecution. And we know that the children of God, we're going to be persecuted. Yeah. The Bible declared those that live godly going to suffer persecution. Yeah. So when persecution come up against you, why do you drift back? Yeah. Help us, Lord. Help us. Why would you not go forward? Yeah. Help us. Help us. Why would not you just run on? Yeah. 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 Why would you not just let God let God have his way. Yeah. Instead of you and your flesh want to draw back. Yeah. God said, I have no pleasure in those that will draw back. Yeah. Hallelujah. Preach. Preach. We bless God. Preach. Preach. Amen. Shall persecution. Amen. Shall these things separate us from God? Shall famine or nakedness or pearl or sword. Amen. These things should not separate us from God. Amen. Amen. Because we are more than a conqueror. Amen. We are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So we bless the name of Jesus. So now we're going back, praise the Lord, to 1 Corinthians, praise the Lord, beginning at that 58 verse. We're not going to be before you alone. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, but God wants to do some things here tonight. Amen. God wants to set some free. God wants to heal and deliver in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How many are free tonight? All right. I said, how many are free tonight? Free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank the Lord. Amen for being free. Amen. The songwriter say, I am free. 
Hallelujah. No longer bound. No chains holding them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to ask the apostle if he would read, praise the Lord, that 58 verse. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, right here, Paul is talking to the Corinthians. He said, my beloved brethren, he are talking about the believers, the saints. My believed brethren, be steadfast. to Galatians 5 and 1 say, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. That's why I ask you, is you free tonight? Free. Are you free tonight? Free. He said, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of the bondage. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. God has brought you out. God has saved you. Amen. Amen. He don't want you to go back into the elements of the world. Don't go back to the elements of the world. Don't leave God. Amen. As the pastor said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We know that the word declares that. Amen. What's God? Amen. Has set you free. Stay free. Amen. And it said, be steadfast, unmovable. Oh my God. Unmovable. Unmovable. The Bible declares that whatever your hand finds to do, do it. And do it with all thy might. Amen. Glory to God. Be unmovable. Don't let anything just move you out of God. Don't let anything, hallelujah, cause you to give up your salvation. Amen. Your salvation is very important. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God. Amen. On tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, and always abounding in the works of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your laboring is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. The Bible. Amen. Declare that there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. Amen. Wherever you go. Amen. We are yet here. So we got a lot of work to do. We got purpose. Amen. We got so much work to do. Amen. Because in the grave, you see, the grave cannot praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all ain't ready to go. You don't want to go. I want to go a little higher. I say, Lord, take me higher. Take me higher, Lord. We want to go a little higher. Higher in the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So give your life to God. Don't be slow for in business, but fervent in the spirit. Fervent in the spirit. Amen. That's where it's at. It's in the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and abound in the works of the Lord. Hagar. Praise the Lord. Let us go to the book of Hagar. Praise the Lord. That's Hagar 2 and 4. Hagar 2 and 4. Amen. We're going to be up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, save the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, save the Lord, and work, for I am with you, save the Lord of hosts. 
according to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remaineth among you. Fear ye not. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And, it, and in this place I will give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. And in the fourth and twenty day of the ninth month in the second day of Darius, second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the son, the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Ask now, and the priest concerning the law, saying, If one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with the skirt do touch bread, or pottage, or wine, or oil, or any meat, it shall it be holy. And the priest answered and said, No. Then saith hey God, If one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of these, say, Shall it be unclean? And the priest answered and said, It shall be unclean. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Here it is. Amen. Hey God, praise the Lord. Was it encouraging the people to build the temple? Yeah. Amen. He said, Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, yeah. says the Lord. And be strong, O Joshua, the son of Josadak, the high priest. And be strong, all ye people of the land, says the Lord, and work. Look at yourself and say, work. 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 For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Here, praise the Lord. Amen. Hagar, Hagar, praise the Lord, was encouraging the people, praise the Lord, to work. And here, God is yet letting us know that there is much work to be done. Amen. Praise the Lord. He kept us here, hallelujah, for such a time as this. Amen. He believed, praise the Lord, that those, praise the Lord, that are called by his name, hallelujah, that are chosen by him, amen, that they would run on. Hallelujah, glory to God, and do the work. Amen. Jesus said, this work that I do, hallelujah, they that believe on me shall do this work and greater work shall they do. Hallelujah, glory to God. So there are much work, hallelujah, to be done. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. There are so many souls out there. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We can be a witness, hallelujah. We can go out, praise the Lord, into the hedges and into the highways, praise the Lord, and compel men to come to Christ. That's a work. That's a mighty work. Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Talked to the disciples, amen, and told them, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now you see, now, 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 you might not be able if you don't have the Holy Ghost. Because you got to have the power. Amen. Some of them demons will run up on you. And if the power, you don't have the power, you got to know that thing you have the power. The power is of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So Jesus wants 